see Portsmouth in white shorts and the Wolves in the dark. And Guthrie wins the toss for Pompey. Barlow turns the tables on his own team. Put Portsmouth one up. One minute from half time and another Portsmouth onslaught. The ball swings over from the right and runs loose to Anderson. Anderson puts it just wide of Scott's right hand and makes it two up at half time. The second half opens with sensation. Anderson kicks off and within 30 seconds Barlow drives for the Wolves goal. Scott saves, but Parker rushes in to make it three for Pompey. And here comes the magnificent Wolves movement as Burton runs in and Dorset sends over a superb cross shot to make it 3-1. And Pompey get yet another. So the end comes with Portsmouth the cup winners by four goals to one. They got to the final ten years ago and were beaten. They got to the final five years ago and were beaten again. But the third time, well, you know the rest, as Guthrie comes up for the happiest moment of his life. Here's Nugent on the chase, and he's going to get to this first. Here's Nugent. And Ipswich are behind. And the half-time substitute, David Nugent, has put Portsmouth ahead with a rather fortuitous goal. Norris, spread wide. No flag. Can be driven in here. Deflected. Oh! Plymouth have scored! Would you believe it? Here's Mendes. Tees it up for Diara. Oh, it's gone right through. And it might have taken a deflection. But Lasana Diara has scored his first Portsmouth goal. And for all their early pressure and for all the chances, we're back at level terms. Glenn Johnson just chips it in and it's. Oh, it's loose at the feet of. Counts. It's crankier. And Plymouth have made a mistake at the back. Crancher. Oh, almost. Yes, it's in. Portsmouth have won it in the 94th minute. Horidison leads the celebrations and Preston North End are distraught. And Barosh has picked out Nico Kranchev. It's back with Milan Barosh. Barosh goes down, and it's a penalty kick. And there could be big trouble here for Thomas Kuschak. On as the second half substitute, and he is off. Denying Milan Barosh a clear-cut goal-scoring opportunity. He's not looking at Ferdinand. It could shape Portsmouth season. And he scored! Fabulous penalty by Sully Montari. No way that Ferdinand to get to that. And just listen to the reaction of the Portsmouth supporters. And here's a chance, maybe. Oh, the save! Carly, how did he keep that out to that Cano on the follow up? And despite the process from Albia. Poppy have taken the lead. And Montari, Enkelman, half saved him and it's turned in. Kanu has got it this time. And it's Poppy Giants of Wembley Joy, 69 years on from their last FA Cup final. This famous old club have at last another triumph to celebrate. Mark Wilson will ship it in for Portsmouth. Boating with a header, Picayon with the goal for Portsmouth! Nine minutes into extra time. Still going, Dindan, chance for two, maybe he goes down, and it's a penalty. Pompey can seal it. Tottenham didn't like the decision, it's Palacios on Dindan, who looked to be going down very early. Was it even in the penalty area? What a moment for Kevin prince Bertang against his old club. He scores! And after all the setbacks and all the turmoil, Portsmouth are heading to the FA Cup final. Here's Dindan, going to have a run at Belletti. It's Dindan brought down. Chris Foy says penalty. And what a chance for Portsmouth to take the lead. Clumsy challenge from Giuliano Belletti. Oh, saved by Czech easily. Terrible penalty from Boateng. 
Drogba again will be favourite to strike it, though Alex packs a powerful punch. It is Drogba, it's in! And wouldn't you just know it, three minutes after Portsmouth miss a penalty, Chelsea go up the other end and score, and who else but Didier Drogba? Third FA Cup final goal for the Ivory Coast striker. Sixth time he's found the net at Wembley. He just loves it here.